You're welcome to today's broadcast. Sure Destiny TV, reaching people and touching lives. Hello Nigerians and hello fellow obedience. This is your friend, Dr. Haruna Goro. I know what we are going through. Everybody is upset with what INEC is doing. We already knew what Tinubu was up to. When he kept saying, Emi Lokon, Emi Lokon, he even started to create confusion within his own party. That's how desperate Tinubu has been. Don't forget, the whole idea of Muslim Muslim ticket was his desperation to ensure, to get the northerners to be on his side. When he noticed that Christians were not happy, he went to hire fake bishops just in the bid to make sure he becomes president at all costs. Tinubu has bribed so many people with billions. That's why people's consciences have been seared that's why you see somebody like Wike, who is diabolic. Wike is wicked. The whole fight with Wike and Atiku is because of this whole thing that he couldn't, he couldn't get his way in becoming vice president, so he started to fight Atiku. With the G5 governors, he left them and went to join Tinubu. And we know it's all about money. And for those of you that have listened to the audio, where he was even talking about killing some of the almost everybody that is involved right now has been bribed i make staff have been bribed returning officers have been bribed i mean if you get to know the depth of what they have done you will be shocked it's unbelievable so nigeria this fight is not a fight between parties it's a fight between tinubu of apc and nigerians especially the youth the youths of nigeria we are not going to accept the result because we know this thing was pre-planned. In the north, there are underage voters, a few people that are sitting in a room and just thumb printing and thumb printing. So it's obvious that Tinubu already had a plan. When the time comes, you will hear how messy this whole thing is. I am very, very confident your labor will not be in vain. Every sacrifice you have made will not be in vain. So don't give up now. Don't get discouraged. Don't feel like after all that we have done, and for those of you that have been praying, and you're feeling like, is this going to be the end? Our prayer now is that there will be no violence, there will be no bloodshed, there will be no loss of lives. Because they don't mind that. Tinubu doesn't mind people dying just for him to become president. But I want to assure you, they may declare him as the winner, but he is not going to be the president of Nigeria. Mark my words. We should only pray for peace, but as for standing to defend your vote, you must stand to defend your vote. Whatever you have as evidence to prove that this election was rigged, make sure you preserve it and protect it. But as for accepting this result or whatever INEC is going to announce, we will not accept. And it's not about not wanting to accept defeat because we are confident Peter Obi cannot be defeated by these people. How can they overpower the youth? With the youth, you are over 70%. If Tinubu was so sure that he had the mass support of Nigerians, why were thugs terrorizing people? Why were people disenfranchised? Why were people disallowed from voting? So everything that happened on Saturday, the 25th of February, it was a clear sign that Tinubu knew he will not make it if he just goes free, fair, and credible. That's why the, all the talks came out. That's why there was the snatching of ballot boxes. That was why there were thumb printing. That's why there were child voters. Most of the people that were used, they were heavily bribed, heavily paid. Somebody like Wiki, only God knows what Tinubu has given to Wiki. Some of the governors, including even the chairman of INEC, only God knows what arrangement Tinubu has made with Mahmoud Yakubu. But you know what? They are not bigger than God Almighty, the Creator. Nigeria belongs to us and we are going to take it back whether they like it or not. So when it's time for people to protest to INEC office, join the movement. The only thing I caution us with that we must not do, because they're going to use that against us. Don't be violent. Don't burn any building. Don't kill anyone. Just let your voice be heard. Go out and let Nigerians know, let INEC know that your vote must count, that our vote must count. All we are calling INEC to do is transparency, because the chairman of INEC already promised Nigerians, he told the whole world, 
that the results were going to be electronically transmitted and people will be watching this live. But now they are giving excuses and they are doing it manually and saying everything is still fine. But with all the promises he made, it's obvious that something is fishy. And it's not just fishy, but something is obviously wrong and we will not accept it. So please don't be depressed, don't be sad, don't feel like the battle is over. Don't forget our principal, Peter Obi, is used to this kind of thing. When he was governor, they even declared somebody else as a governor and the person went in. But what happened when he went to court? He came out as a winner. Obi, as a governor of Anambra State, he was alone from his party. The House of Assembly, they all got together and impeached him. Twice he came back. So Obi is used to this. I want to assure you, no matter what happens, the thing will still turn, no matter what is announced now. Don't take it as final, because many things are gonna come out. A lot of people may even end up in jail because of what will be excavated, what will be discovered, the fraud that has been done. This whole election has been mad with so many irregularities. I have not given up. Many of us have worked tirelessly. I've been doing this broadcast for over six months now. I've devoted my time to doing this because I believe in Nigeria. Because I believe that the birth of a new Nigeria is possible. We are taking our nation back. It is not over until we win. It is not over until we create a new nation that we will all celebrate. I still see us on the streets celebrating. Let's not give up. Let's not be discouraged. This is the time to even be stronger. A woman carries pregnancy for nine months. But you know what? That last hour, when the baby is about to come out, the pains intensify. It becomes tough for her. The woman is encouraged to push, to push, just the last push. So Nigerians, obedience, this is the last push. Tinubu can never be the president of Nigeria. A weak, frail, corrupt old man. Is that the kind of person that you think will go to Asso Rock? Nigerians came out in mass to vote for change. It cannot be that most Nigerians still want to settle with APC. That's why APC is now going to be the ruling party in the next four years. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not at all. We will not accept this broad daylight robbery. Be part of the obedient and useful movement. We just started. We haven't ended. Today is not 29th of May, so don't panic. OB is a fighter, but a peaceful fighter, but he always comes out as a winner. I also have a word for you, our Commander-in-Chief, President, President Muhammadu Buhari. You already promised us and you told the whole world that you want to ensure a free, fair and credible election. But it cannot be free, fair, and credible when people's votes have been stolen. So please stand up in defense of what you promised. You promised security, but we didn't see it on the voting day. People were just left at the mercy of thugs. President Buhari, you are the commander-in-chief. So ensure you do the right thing. Mr. President, stand up and protect the citizens of this great nation. I want to say thank you to everyone out there. Let's remain optimistic. Let's remain prayerful in our journey towards the recovery of our nation from the hands of this evil, wicked politician. Let's remain hopeful. Let's be full of expectation. The best is yet to come. Nigeria will stand. The people of Nigeria will stand united and we are unstoppable. Please go ahead and share this video with as many people as you can. They need to hear and also like it by so doing. YouTube and Facebook will recommend it to more people so they view it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that right away so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime I have another broadcast. Thank you very much. God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro.